All plants' life cycle involves alternation of generations. First, a diploid cycle develops into a multicellular diploid sporophyte through mitosis. Sporophyte then produces haploid spores through meiosis. Spores develop into multicellular haploid gametophyte through mitosis. Gametophyte then give rise to haploid gametes through mitosis. Two gametes then combine through fertilization to generate a diploid zygote, and the life cycle starts over again. Bryophytes are non-vascular plants that are gametophyte dominant. In the life cycle of a moss. Zygote develops into multicellular sporophyte, which contains an organ called sporangium. The sporangium of a moss is also known as the capsule. It releases spore through the opening called peristome. Spores give rise to protonema, which develop into male and female gametophytes. The male gametophyte produces flagellated sperm in the organ antheridia, which is located on the gametophore. A female gametophyte produces an egg. In the organ archegonium, the sperm swims through a film of water to reach and fertilize the egg, producing the diploid zygote. Most seedless vascular plants are homosporous, including all the monilophytes, ferns, horsetails, and whisk ferns, as well as club mosses from lycophytes. In the life cycle of ferns, the sporangia are located on leaves known as sporophylls. Sporangia are arranged in clusters known as sori. Sporangium produces spore through meiosis, which develops into bisexual gametophyte, which contains both the antheridium and the archegonium. The antheridium produces sperm, whereas the archegonium produces egg. Sperm and egg fertilize to produce a diploid zygote, which gives rise to a new sporophyte. Some seedless vascular plants are heterosporous, such as spike mosses and quoarts from lycophytes. In the life cycle of a spike moss, a mature sporophyte contains two types of sporangia. The microsporangium produces microspores through meiosis, which develops into male gametophyte that produces sperm through mitosis. The mature sporophyte also contains the megasporangium, which produces megaspores through meiosis. Megaspores develops into female gametophyte through mitosis and produces egg in archegonia. Sperm fertilize egg, producing a diploid zygote, which gives rise to a new sporophyte. All seed plants are heterosporous. In the life cycle of a general sperm, such as a pine tree, the sporophyte, which is the tree, produces two types of cones, which are modified leaves. The pollen cone contains the male sex organ known as microsporangia, which contains cells known as microsporocyte, which produces microspores through meiosis. Microspores develop into male gametophytes known as pollen grain, which contains the tube cell that produces the tube nucleus and the generative cell that produces sperms. The tube nucleus produces the pollen tube, which helps the sperm reach the egg through pollination. Sporophytes also produces another type of cone known as the ovulate cone, which contains many ovules, each with a megasporangium surrounded by protective integument. Megasporangium contains cells known as megasporocytes, which produces megaspores through meiosis. Megaspore develops into female gametophyte through mitosis. Female gametophyte produces egg in archegonia. After pollination, the sperm fertilizes egg to produce the diploid zygote, which is surrounded by food and protective seed coat derived from integument. In the life cycle of an angiosperm. The mature sporophyte contains reproductive structures known as flowers. The anther, which is part of the stamen, contains the male organ known as microsporangium, which produces microspores through cells known as microsporocytes. Microspores develop into male gametophyte known as pollen grains. Similar to gymnosperms, the pollen grain contains tube cells which give rise to tube nucleus. And generative cells that give rise to two sperms. On the other hand, the ovary, which is part of the carpel, contains about six ovules, which are consist of megasporangium surrounded by protective integument. Megasporangium produces four megaspores through the cell's megasporocyte. Megaspores develop into female gametophyte through mitosis. The female gametophyte in angiosperm is known as the embryo sac. Which contains eight cells as a result of three rounds of mitosis, three antipodal cells, two polar nuclei in the middle, 
and an egg surrounded by two synergids. After pollination, double fertilization occurs, in which one sperm combines with two polar nuclei to produce the triploid endosperm, which will serve as the food source for future embryo. Another sperm fertilizes the egg to produce the diploid zygote, and the integument of the ovules develop into the seed coat. The ovule becomes the seed and the ovary becomes the fruit. More details about angiosperms will be covered in a future video.